10 countries in Europe have committed to stop burning fossil fuels completely by 2035. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching Electric Viking. 10 countries from the European Union representing over 60% of Europe's electricity generation capacity have committed to exit fossil fuel generation by 2035, or actually in some cases, even sooner. Renewaleconomy.com.au says that a new analysis published by Civil Society Campaign Beyond Fossil Fuels found out that 10 EU countries, Austria, Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Greece, Italy, Lithuania, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands have committed to move their power systems completely away from fossil fuels by 2035, or in some instances, sooner. The date determined by the International Energy Agency for European Nations to align with the Paris Agreement, 1.5 degrees Celsius target, that's 2035, right? So they're all saying, these 10 countries, we are gonna hit that date. But some of them are saying we're gonna hit that probably five years early. Four of these 10, Austria, Denmark, Lithuania, and Luxembourg have pledged to replace fossil fuel generation completely with renewables. In addition to that, obviously, Germany, it's on its way. I mean, I believe 60% of Germany's energy right now is actually solar power. And they're probably going to hit around 70% by the end of next year. A further three European member states have made similar commitments but are not committed to ending fossil fuel use in 2035. However, if those three countries, Portugal, Romania, and Sweden, were to pledge moving on from fossil fuels by 2035, over 70% of Europe's electricity sector would then be committed to a 2035 exit date, meaning Europe would largely be run by renewables by 2035. It's encouraging that many European governments share the ambition to usher in the fossil-free era by making 2035 power sector commitments, said Tara Connolly, campaigner at Beyond Fossil Fuels. Now more need to follow suit, but respecting the 2035 time horizon is only part of the task. Governments need to be explicit in their commitment to phase out coal and gas and fully replace them with renewables. The new analysis published by Beyond Fossil Fuels Government 2035 Commitment Tracker concludes that Austria, Denmark, Lithuania, Luxembourg, they have all made commitments that align with the Paris Agreement's 1.5 degrees Celsius target. Commitments made by Belgium, France, Germany, Greece, Italy, and the Netherlands, well, they're not quite clear enough in their promises to replace completely fossil fuel usage with renewable energy by 2035. But based on their current build out of renewables and how fast they're building them currently, it appears as though pretty much all of them will have done this anyway by 2035. The report warns that nations must completely phase out fossil fuel usage and replace it with mature renewable energy technologies, avoiding power generation technologies, which are either incompatible or simply not yet mature enough, uh, such as modular nuclear reactors potentially, to guarantee complete phase out of fossil fuels. Included in the bundle of incompatible or immature technologies defined by Beyond Fossil Fuels are the expansion of bioenergy, um, wave energy potentially, new nuclear energy, which takes just so long to build, hydrogen produced using fossil fuels, and carbon capture utilization and storage. Government power sector commitments are essential because they send a clear signal to industry and investors about the direction of a country's climate action, they said. This provides certainty for planners and drives down the cost of capital, sparking flows of vital finance for the energy transition. Only by being explicit about our intention to build a sustainable power system can we break free from the grip of unpredictable global fossil fuel markets and shape our power systems so that they truly serve people and the planet. Now, I just made another video, guys, about Ethiopia. They had a 20-year plan to phase out fossil fuels. They are now 97% powered by renewables, and they will hit 100% this year. They're actually going to try and ban the sale of internal combustion engine vehicles by the end of this year, 
and they're saying by 2035 at the absolute latest, but they're hoping to try and ban them next year. So it is very, very possible to do this. And if you look at the transition of some countries in Europe, such as Germany, last year, more than 50% of Germany's power came from solar. And, you know, Germany's not exactly the sunniest country. So if Germany can do it, well, most of us can do it. 90% of the world's population lives on the Sun Belt, where there's an immense amount of sun. And solar has come down in price over the past 12 months by an additional 50%, meaning the cost of solar panels have now gone down by 94% over the past 20 years. There's never been a better time to clean up grids, to stop burning fossil fuels. But fortunately, next year will probably be even better. Now, I know things are going to get worse between now and next year, but by this time next year, battery pack prices, in particular energy storage, and the cost of large-scale solar panels for solar farms will have continued to come down even more, meaning the cost of burning fossil fuels will look even more preposterous than it does today. Thanks for watching.